This is Jessica. After graduating high school, she chose to save money by going to community college first, then transfer. She eventually graduated with a biology degree from Loyola University, Chicago. She's the first college graduate in her family, and it cost her $100,000 in student debt. Even with a STEM degree, she still can't find a good job. And six months after graduating, lenders came knocking on her door demanding payment. So she picked up a job as a lab technician and customer service representative at a veterinarian's office. Three years later, she's considering going back to school in the fall to become a pharmacist because she can't find a job with her existing degree that pays above minimum wage. The catch is, in order to go back to school, she has to take out more loans. Many students, just like Jessica, are stuck in jobs that they could have gotten without a college degree that just don't pay enough to make repaying the loans feasible. So what does that mean for the rest of us? More than 44 million Americans owe $1.4 trillion in outstanding student loans, meaning they have less disposable income. Those borrowers may also delay life's milestones like moving out, owning a home, or starting a family. That could mean fewer taxpayers, which means fewer people paying into Social Security and a retirement crisis down the road.